Philippians chapter 1, and we're going to read uh, verse 20. We're going to read down to verse 26, just so you know. For I fully expect and hope that I will never be ashamed, but that I will continue to be bold for Christ as I have been in the past. And I trust that my life will bring honor to Christ, whether I live or die. For me, uh, for to me, living means living for Christ and dying is even better. But if I live, I can do more fruitful work for Christ. So I really, I really don't know which is better. I'm torn between two desires. I long to go and be with Christ, which would be far better for me. But for others' sakes, it is better that I continue to live. Uh, knowing this, I am convinced that I will remain alive. So I can continue to help all of you grow and experience the joy of your faith. And when I come to you again, you will have even more reason to take pride in Christ Jesus because of what he is doing uh, through me. So the last few uh, days, especially uh, the video yesterday, was uh, us hearing about how Paul, while in prison, while in this really tough place, um, is continuing to find peace, um, at joy, in fact, from what's happening. Um, but now we're hearing about what Paul is looking at ahead of him and actually the quite uh, scary possibility that he might die very soon. He's talking about the days that are to come and how he's uh, dealing with that. And actually in these verses, we hear some of the most countercultural, shocking uh, lines that Paul actually says uh, in all of his writings. Um, he's quite blunt. He says, look, I've got two... Uh, two choices, not even choices, I've got two things that can happen to me. I'll either continue to live for a while or I'll die very soon. But what Paul says is, um, if I die, um, I will be happy out. Don't worry about me because then I'll get to spend time with Christ. He says already in his life, one of his favorite things selfishly is that he gets to spend be in a relationship with Jesus through the Holy Spirit and he says look if I die however uh, scary and painful it might be uh, I'll get to continue to live uh, with Christ for an eternity in fact uh, and, and that is a joyous thing to Paul um, if he doesn't die and he doesn't get to live what he actually says is happy days because you guys will benefit he says if he continues to live Everyone else uh, will be blessed, and um, that he will. Uh, basically, what Paul's saying is, if he continues to live, also a happy outcome, because he'll get to continue to love and serve people around him. He'll continue to get to go out and and, and teach people and bless people and go to churches and and help them out. This topic is an incredibly tough and sensitive one that we could spend hours and hours doing talks on. It's very hard to squeeze into a five minute daily Bible devotional video. Uh, so I'm actually going to zoom in and, and pick those two reactions to the possibilities because uh, I actually think there's so much that we can think about from that and learn mm -hmm. from. Um, firstly, when Paul thinks about living his life, uh, he doesn't talk about himself. Instead, he says, um, happy days because I get to serve other people. Um, we all have a purpose for life. We all have um, something that gets us up in the morning. Um, but I think what the world tends to tell us and what a lot of things in the culture that we live in says is uh, your purpose in life should be how much you can achieve. Um, uh, what gets you up in the day should be how much money you should earn, how uh, smart you might be, how skilled you should be, what your purpose in life should be, uh, how much you can get, maybe how popular you can be. You know, it's very much about yourself and your own identity. And, and it, almost when you read about Paul wanting to stay alive, you think, well, obviously he wants to stay alive because he gets to continue to live his life. But what Paul says is, I actually, the only reason I'm happy out to stay alive is so that I can keep serving others. Um, when you think about what your motivation to live your life is, what gets you through the day, um, do you have some maybe more selfish reasons? 
Are you maybe only thinking about what you can get out of a day or what you can get out of your life? Or maybe can we learn something uh, from Paul and actually say, wait, my purpose in life is I have an opportunity to love someone today. I have an opportunity to give someone something, to serve them, to teach them, um, to bless the people around me. Um, is that actually something that can get me up in the morning and push myself? Is that something I can focus on to keep me getting through my days? Because I really believe that as we uh, find our purpose and our motivation and our passion from serving others rather than just gaining ourselves, we will find a peace that Paul has in prison. We will find a peace like the one we read about here. The second thing I want to point out is that Paul has this very clear love for Jesus and has this deep desire to spend as much time with him as he can. In fact, this love for his relationship and his, his, his wonder of Jesus and his desire uh, for his spirit to be with Jesus is so immense that he's okay with the idea of dying so that he can continue to spend time uh, with Jesus. This was incredibly challenging for, to me because that question of do we have a faith and do we have a love for Jesus that actually makes us that at peace uh, with something as scary as death, is <laughs> that's a hard thing to have. I'm not sure there's many people who can say that. Um, it is an incredibly extra, extra, extraordinary um, faith that this man has. But what a thing to strive for. Uh, can we actually grow in our relationship with Jesus and actually spend more time with him and fall in love with spending time with him to the point that we get that kind of calmness and peace, kind of like our focus on a day that actually if we fall in love with Jesus and, and if we work on our relationship with him, maybe we'll find that purpose every day because, hey, at least Jesus is here. At least I can spend time with God. That is enough for Paul, and maybe that can be enough for us. Maybe we need to spend more time praying. Maybe we need to spend more time worshipping, be it ourselves or maybe going to church and worshipping together. Maybe we need to keep learning about him. But, but this is an incredible thing that Paul has, this state of mind where he says, I'm okay no matter the circumstances, as long as I can either love others and bless them, or spend time with Jesus myself. What an incredible peace uh, that can be given to us too if we strive for Jesus and strive for loving others in that same way. Tomorrow I'll be continuing. We're almost getting to chapter two, guys. We're almost there. Um, but please, God, you've been enjoying reading through and, and these talks have been helpful. But as usual, um, stay safe, guys. Hope you're doing okay in the quarantine. Uh, and God bless. I'll see you soon.